today I am setting myself a challenge. Let me just get through this gate. That's my first challenge. Yeah, I've set myself a challenge today. So I'm going into some woodland and the challenge I've set myself is to only use my 70 to 300 millimeter lens. So, all I'm looking for is details either in the trees, rocks, or, well, just any interesting intimate details in the landscape that, I've, I, can, uh, that I can photograph. So, this is going to be tricky. I might not even get a photograph today, who knows? But we shall see. So I've, uh, I've made my way down to the water's edge um, and I've seen uh, a scene that I quite like um, which would be perfect for a long lens because I can't get any closer to it. But basically it's that little uh, tunnel bridge over there. And uh, how the water is coming through. I really like that. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put the long lens on and uh, try and frame that shot up. Um, this is the ground I've got to work with here. So. problem getting my tripod leveled up. Okay so the first shot I'm going to take is um, kind of the center center piece of the shot is obviously the, the bridge with a little tunnel there and the water cascading out of it and then this um, little, little bit of a waterfall there in the foreground and then framing the shot on either side would be the banks and the trees. We're getting some uh, lovely sort of diffused light coming through the trees and casting a few shadows and um, yeah, it's really nice. There's a little bit of hazy cloud sort of just diffusing the sun a little bit. So, as I said, I'm using the uh, Tamron 70-200. Currently at 70 millimeters. Sorry, 70 to 300. F11, eighth of a second. Nice. Very nice. Zoom right in tight on the actual bridge itself. Let's see if I can get a closer shot. So 200 mil, F11 again, ISO 50.
Um, I've just uh, found this composition here and I just I absolutely love the way this this uh, this fallen tree kind of spreads out over those beautiful rocks, moss coloured rocks and then you've got this little bit of uh, movement in the water here in the foreground I just love that that whole scene is just I don't know, there's something uh, kind of ethereal about that. Maybe you don't think so, but let's see how the photograph looks. Okay, so in order to get the whole scene in, I've, I've had to move quite a way back to use the, uh, the long lens. Yeah, I love the way it's um, really sort of focusing in on the, tightening on the uh, detail in the the fallen branches and the moss and the rocks and everything and then you've got that little bit of water movement in the foreground and uh, just, just beautiful the way it looks it's a really good challenge to kind of pick a focal range or pick a focal length and just try and stick to it Well, sun's bright this evening. Um, yeah, it's really, really come out now. And uh, there's some really old, mature trees just down the road here. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to find some decent compositions there and uh, find some nice, interesting textures and contrasts in the trees. Okay, so this tree here I really like. Um, it's got this beautiful rich green moss all over it and some really deep texture in the moss too. Um, and the light, I've got some beautiful light at the moment. It's casting some nice contrasty shadows on the tree as well. So uh, I'm not sure where to shoot it from though because if I move a little bit to, let's just show you, if I move down a little bit to the left in the background there, towering in the background we've got Sheep's Tour, which is uh, uh, probably the most impressive of all the, the hills in this area. So I think maybe if I shoot it from down there's a little bit of a little bit of a, a valley down here where I can set up so that I'm shooting. Hang on, let's move down here. So if I set up down here, I'll be facing up towards the tree. And yeah, I think I think that's my composition right here. I really like the look of that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. And um, I'm going to be putting a polarizer on to kind of um, saturate the, the greens and the sky a little bit too. So yeah, let's get set up. So yeah, re restricting myself to this uh, kind of limited focal length where um, my sort of widest angle is 70 millimeters. It's really quite challenging, but it's uh, it's quite quite a good exercise too because it makes you really think about you know 
framing your composition up more precisely. Um, you know, when you're shooting wide, um, you, you're going to get your focal point in, and if when you look at the image you're not quite happy with, you can always crop it. Whereas when you're shooting like this, you've got to get your composition bang on because if you don't, then the shots really it's not usable. Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting. Right, so I'm just walking around now with uh, just doing some handheld shots um, with the uh, image stabilization on. Um, just trying to find any really close up details in these trees. Because um, the light at the moment is really nice. Um, the video there um, hopefully some of these shots have uh, turned out pretty decent although you'll have seen them before I do um, so uh, thanks for watching um, if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and uh, please make sure you subscribe uh, leave a comment as well I always reply to comments um, Thanks, thanks very much. Till next time, see you later.